Okay, I had a request uh, to make a tutorial on how to make a digital graffiti piece. Um, first thing you want to do, obviously, is get your sketch onto your computer. Go ahead and scan it, take a picture, um, whatever you need to do. Uh, this tutorial is for Photoshop. I do not use Illustrator, but I assume it should be the same. First off, you want to go ahead and open your sketch up, make a new layer, find your correct brush thickness. Um, I start with the outline. Get your pen tool out and start outlining. Now the reason I do the outline first uh, is because sometimes you know you like to change things. Um, something on the sketch might not look right. Obviously, you know with a pencil and paper you're gonna mess up somewhere. So it's a little easier to catch on the computer. Alright, now after that you're going to make a new layer, you're going to put it under the outline layer. This is going to be for your 3D. When you want to go up to your pen tool, you want to make that a shape. So it's not it's not going to be stroke like it was before, you're actually making a shape. Um, you also want to turn the opacity down. I turned it to 3% at first and I turned it to 0 because it just kind of gets annoying with the cloudiness. Go ahead and trace around your object, make sure that you're tracing 3D this time. Now the reason I do it this way is so I don't have to hand draw in the halo. The halo being the color around the piece. Uh, some people call it a force field halo, I call it a halo. So go ahead and go around your object. Now in order to make the halo, you're going to go in there and make it stroke. Well, never mind, I'm doing this first, I guess. So take the uh, selection magic wand on the outline layer, and this is this is how you're going to do your fill right here. Go ahead and select everything. Okay, now here it is for the stroke, as far as your uh, halo, you're going to go to the, the 3D layer, um, click on properties, and then do stroke, you can select the thickness, uh, whatever pixels you want, as far as how big your picture is, it's going to depend. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to make a new layer from called Highlights. Uh, go ahead and stick that under the outline layer, and that way you're not going over your outline with your highlights in case you make the brush thickness too thick. And again on the pen tool, um, go back to that so you're not making shapes. Go back to stroke.
You can also add shines. I just went to the assorted brushes to do that. Uh, then in a second here, you're going to see my signature. Um, I don't really think I need to make a tutorial on that. I can pretty much just tell you how. Um, obviously, I drew my signature first. What I went ahead and did is I used the stroke method with the pen tool. Um, I went to the cloak, or cl wow, calligraphy brushes. So I went to the calligraphy brushes. That way, it's kind of got the look like a uh, you know like a Montana hardcore marker, any type of marker that we do tags with. So this is my technique. I'm sure there's a lot of techniques out there on how to do a digital graffiti piece. Um, this is a really easy way. Uh, as far as this piece, I know it's pretty ugly and quick. I just wanted to do something quick so that. You know, I didn't have a long video, but uh, go ahead and check out my Facebook page. This is facebook.com slash zombie creations, Z-O-M-B creations, and like that. Um, and go ahead and subscribe. I'm sure I'll be putting up more videos of uh, canvas work, paint work, maybe some more tutorials. Um, if anybody can think of anything else they might want to tutorial on, let me know.